when some of the people ask me, oh, is my idea a tar pit? I'll be like, hey, well, have you talked to any users? And they're like, no, I just, no. I thought you would tell me though. Like, it's funny. <laughs> it's like, how have you been watching the videos? I think, I think what we say in the videos is you should talk to users and get a customer. And they're like, yeah, I guess you did say that. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> This is Dalton Post Michael, and today we're gonna to talk about tar pit ideas again. Tar pit, the sequel. Part two. Part two. So we've gotten a lot of feedback from our first tar pit video. Was it about a year? It was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. maybe a little yeah. bit more. It's like, oh, this looks like a nice pool yeah. of water. No one's no one's here drinking at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a drink of water from this <laughs> pool, right? Like, no, <laughs> danger, <laughs> quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> what have you learned about? Well, I think a lot of people watched that video. Yes. And I've met a lot of people in the real, real world that have watched it. Yes. And the most common question I get is, hey, Dalton, is my idea a tar pit? And then they yes. tell me their idea. And maybe the first thing that I noticed was a lot of folks, I feel like, didn't exactly get the definition that we had. And they, are, they interpret the term tar pit to just mean an idea that I don't like. Again, maybe that I'm Dalton confused. and Michael. Though. Yeah, it's sort of an like- An idea that came up in the last video. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, you know, we try to define it a different way. Why don't you try to give the definition and you should watch the video. Yes, the you should watch one, the video, but yes. But we should, we should restart, right? So the idea behind the tar pit idea is we would see a lot of founders applying with the same idea over and over and over again. And often we would fund many of them and often the idea wouldn't work. And after a while, we we started seeing this trend. We're like, wow, there are these certain idea spaces that seem to always attract a lot of applicants and they never work. And like, that's how we kind of came up with this concept of a tar pit idea. And in the video, I explained that like, that's how tar pits were for dinosaurs, right? It looks like a body of water from afar. And as the dinosaur gets close, they go to drink it and it's tar and they get stuck and they die. And that's why we have all of these dead founders yeah. in these tar pit pools, all these dead dinosaurs in tar pit pools. What was interesting though, was that, like you said, people interpret it as almost like a static list that doesn't change over time. Well, and also that an idea that is bad and an idea is a tar pit are the same thing. Yeah. A tar pit is a pretty small, if we imagine the Venn diagram, tar pit ideas are a small-ish set of ideas. Yes. There's lots of ideas that are neither good nor bad. They're just normal. Yes, yes. And so, <laughs> yes. There's something about tar pit ideas that are insanely attractive. Yeah. Like, like if so, if other founders don't come up with them all the time, constantly, it is not, not tar a tar pit idea. No. It has to be It has to be something that you're like, yeah, I have that idea too. Yes. <laughs> I think there's another part about tar pit ideas, which like they sound, it's really funny. Most startup ideas, when you tell your friends and they're being honest, they're like, that's not a good idea. Tar pit ideas get like a lot oh, they love it. of praise. Yeah. Like, the second one, your friend's like, that's a great idea. Yeah, like uh, food discovery. Like, yeah. you know that problem where you can't decide what restaurant to go to? Yeah. That's so a like, great idea. You yes. pitch your friends on it. Like, I totally have that problem. I have that problem all the time. <laughs> I think that the other thing you brought up is there's a characteristic of a startup idea where it's been done before, right? And I think this is an area where a lot of founders, you know, avoid research to not learn things they don't want to learn. But it's been done before a lot and nothing has changed. Like there's no, you know, I would argue that there are a number of ideas that at any given time in the you know, last hundred years might have been tar pit and then technology changed. Yep. And suddenly these are not only possible, they're great businesses. But I think that the kind of characteristic of it's been done a lot, a lot of people have failed and nothing has changed. That's very And there's tar -pit. just like an endless supply of folks that haven't even started a company yet Yes. that tend to come up with a similar yes. idea. It just is one of the first ideas to pop into people's minds. Now, I think what's interesting is what's happened since we recorded that video is LLMs, yep. AI. I think that when I'm reading applications, my first thought is like, I am open to even classic tar pit ideas no longer being tar pit. Like I'm open. What I love to see is when a founder can explain to me why the new technology might make something accomplishable that wasn't accomplishable before. Yep. What I hate to see is a founder that's not even acknowledging that like many people have tried yep. and failed before. Like it's like, oh, history that happened before I'm alive 
didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, it didn't. <laughs> I'm mean, like, in a line, and then that's when history starts, right? And actually, I wasn't even aware. So it's like since I've been like 18 ish, like that's, yeah, like that's when the only history part. starts. The only good music is when I was 18. Exactly, literally. <laughs> I think another area that that you brought up is kind of the the X for Y, right? You like the Copilot for. You know, hey, Copilot's working great for developers. Yep. Should there not be a Copilot for fill in the blank? Yeah, and and this one, to be very clear, I don't think that these are tar pits. Fair. But they are common, and yes. so to be very specific, everyone says Copilot for X, and then like we can play Mad Libs. Yes. Copilot for real estate agents. Copilot's for in uh, investment bankers. Yes. Copilot for lawyers. Pilots. Copilot for pilots. Copilot surgeons. For surgeons. Yeah. Uh, co-pilots for, you know, basically Dalton, any job. Who doesn't need a co-pilot? co-pilot for dentists. <laughs> yes. Co-pilot for dog walkers. Who would not want a co-pilot? <laughs> and so, again, uh, these are not tar pits because not enough people have tried them. Exactly. But they are common ideas, I would say. Again, yes. doesn't mean you shouldn't try it, but yeah. a lot of people just from first principles trying to come up with AI startup ideas, yeah. these are the type of things they tend to cook up. Yeah. This is not meant to try to, like, screw with your dreams, right? Like I think that a lot of people start companies because there's a problem they see in the world they really want to fix. And I think that the depressing thing I've learned is that whatever current set of technology is available can address only a current set of problems. And like some problems are going to fall outside of that set. And every time there's a new chunk of technology, we have to re-explore, <laughs> right? Let's re-explore what problems are available. And I think that what's cool is that like, there are a lot of companies this batch where I would say, I would not have funded this idea mm. in the pre-LLM world. Okay. Like I funded a, a company that's basically doing like completely um, AI generated podcasts. And it's like, <laughs> without LLMs and the ability to do like voice generation, that would, yeah. I would have never considered funding it. With that, I'm like, okay, let's see. And so I think that's the other thing that you should kind of understand from our perspective. We're definitely in a okay, let's see phase. Yeah, Compared fun. to like <laughs> 10 years into B2B SaaS, it was like, we've seen a lot of, like, we've seen a lot of forms and like, uh, yeah. So I think that like, that's another fun part well, of this. And thing. I guess AI generated video and audio we have seen YC companies working on those since 2016, 27. Yes. Like the early generative AI stuff. Yes. We funded, we've been funding that consistently. Yes. And it seems like it's getting better. Yes. The quality is getting better. Yes. It's One funny thing about these things is uh, they always train them on YouTube video. And guess guess where, uh -oh. guess who has a lot of YouTube uh -oh. video of them? Yeah. And so uh -oh. <laughs> so all these new demos that we see, it's yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> in the it's videos. quite embarrassing. It is a little bit embarrassing, but they're yes. getting, they're getting admittedly kind of good. Yeah. Um. Well, that was the thing. I played like, I played this personalized podcast. It's called Pocket Pod. I played this one to my wife and she's like, oh, like you're listening to NPR or like some other thing. And then it played a quote of me talking to the reporter. <laughs> And she's like, oh, did you give an interview? I'm like, this all is, yeah. <laughs> this is, I didn't, I'm learning for the first time that I'm on my own podcast. <laughs> and so it's, it's, I would say it's fun for us to see all these new things, but like still, if you can't draw any connection between the two technology and why your problem can be solved today, and it's one of these ideas that have been tried many times, tricky. Yep. Maybe the last thing we should talk about is like where, what are the flavors of tar pits? You know, we were talking about this before. There, there are multiple flavors of tar pits. Like, what do you what do you see? I think there's <clears throat> the two most common vectors are one, just a belief that the world should work differently than it yes. does. Better. And this is all coming from a good place, but it's basically, wow, the way X works is bad. We should do it Y. And yes. everyone simultaneously needs to adopt this scheme. So I'd put the... Yes. The idea of coordinating with your friends to see who you can hang out with and do event planning yes. is one of these where wouldn't it be cooler if all your friends wanted to hang out all the time yes. and you could coordinate with them on an yes. app? Like we'd it's coming. We'd all have more fun. We'd all have more fun. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't be sad. Yeah. It, and so the way you want the world to work is that everyone's like, yeah, I want to install a new app to see what all my friends are doing and hang out with them. Yep. Sadly, it does not appear that people want to do that, or at least no one that's tried this idea. Has figured it out yet. I'm sure someone is watching the main like, but I'm gonna figure it out. Um, yes. God bless you. But that's, again, it's coming from this really good place, this utopian sense of changing the way that we live our lives. Yes. And 
running into that it's just hard to change human behavior. That's a perfect example of tar pit because it's the perfect example of something where like nobody would say no. Yeah, no one wants to discourage you. Yeah, no. You're working on something that's really good. Yeah. So that's number one. What what about number two? Number two is, um, I don't know. You you did a better version of this earlier. Yeah, I, I think it's tricky. I think it's... It can be summarized as like some form of arbitrage yeah. or getting rich very quickly. There's like a limited window where like I have some secret knowledge and like I can get very rich very fast. And like I would be working for Google, but because of this moment in time, I can kind of like fast forward through the entire startup thing and like kill it. And I think that... um that also sounds really attractive. It's like, right, like you have to work for 15 years to make your startup work. But like, if I just do the right thing at the exact right yeah. time, game on, Grand Slam home run. Like yep. I can be rich, you know, in Miami. Like, Yeah, this is where you you just end up doing an idea that's like whatever is raising money. Yeah. Or you find some sort yeah. of arbitrage where you, you know, a lot of ad tech stuff was like this yeah. or... Uh, Anyway, like yeah. you see these momentary things where you want to just immediately make tons of money from it. But there were lots of people um, influenced by Wall Street bets uh, during the pandemic where a lot of startup ideas were like someone saw Wall Street bets and was like, hey, I'm going to make a startup out of this somehow. Like that was the that was the input. My um, favorite one is like, I'm doing so great in Wall Street bets and my friends are all seeing it. And they just want to give me their money so I can invest it for them. So what is the like fastest way I can create like an investment advisory <laughs> business? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> like, so I can just, <laughs> just shove my friend's money into the market as fast as possible. Check it out, Michael. I don't know. I don't know why you're laughing. Like I, just... I was going to pitch you that idea. I, I, I got some great stock tips. And I'm just like, God, like, am I what? Like, Am I watching the car crash in real time? I don't, like, I don't see the problem. It's like, don't markets always go up forever? Isn't that how, isn't that how graphs work? Aren't graphs like this? When you're all? young, yes. The market only That's goes fair. up forever That's if it's fair. your first time. And I'm thinking about this poor founder's friends who just dump all their life savings into their investment advisory business. And the market crashes. I even know what company you're referencing. <sighs> well, there's many. I mean, there's, I, not, there's more than I'm, one. I'm thinking of, yes. I know... <laughs> I know what you're saying. So yeah, so that's like, you know, the mercenary. So wrapping it up, right? I think maybe the big takeaway here is this is not a static list of ideas. Maybe ideas that we had mentioned in our last video are no longer tar pit. Technology's changed. Maybe ideas we made fun of in this video won't be tar pit six months from now. Technology changes. If it looks too good to be true, like if you're getting too much positive feedback, if it feels like... Why does this already exist? It seems so easy. That's not like the shape of things that we see working, right? <laughs> like maybe you should be a little yeah. skeptical. Well, and it's funny. So when some of the people ask me, oh, is my idea a tar pit? I'll be like, hey, well, have you talked to any users? And they're like, no, I just, no. I thought you would tell me though. Like it's funny. <laughs> it's like, how have you been watching the videos? Yeah, exactly. I think what we see in the videos is you should talk to users and get a customer. And they're like, yeah. I guess you did say that. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I, I thought I would just pick a video, an idea based on what you said. <laughs> All right, Carlton, good chat. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Cool.